Hey everyone, this is Westane from PureMTGO.com. Thought I'd have a little fun today and play some Legacy. I'm playing the Affinity Dot deck, which is a blue-based counter affinity deck. I'm on the draw, and being on the draw, I can't argue too much with a hand like this. So I'm gonna keep. I haven't seen that card in forever. Vault of Whispers. I'm actually not playing any black in this deck at all, but I like keeping it around. Uh, I'd like to lead off with the factory, but it's not going to happen. I'm going to call this Hypergenesis. I've never played against Hypergenesis, so I'm actually quite excited. Except I'm not if he goes off this turn. No luck. Can't think of what I could needle against Hypergenesis. So I think we're just going to have to see. I um, can drop that now. A Frogmite. Another Frogmite. Some equipment. Slap it on. Even though it's a slower, more controlling affinity deck, affinity is affinity. So, these really fast, aggressive starts still happen from time to time. And I've really just gotta hope he's not able to go off. And he's not. That's game one, short and sweet. Off to game two. Now, I'm not running Canonist like I should be. And to tell you the truth, my sideboard was really just kind of sloshed together. Um, I probably don't need Jace. It's just not going to be fast enough. I do want Spell Pierces. I can't really think of a reason to bring in Graveyard Hate, and I probably don't need the Needles. And we'll call that that. Game 2. Um... No fodder for force. And he let me play first. I'm going to go ahead and keep this then in the hopes that I can develop a bit faster than he does. Yep, I played a Frogmite first. Uh, it's a known fact that reading your cards can make a huge difference in your ability to play them. I always like attacking with my Ornithopter when I have a Ravager in play, just in case. thinking just in case I actually hit the wrong button I hate f6ing myself into a loss it's horrible I have the force of will and two hover guards and I can't imagine he sees this one coming naturally he can have his bit blast I'm going to sacrifice my ravager to itself first and slap it on my ornithopter there's his hypergenesis and we're going to force it it's legacy everything plays force of will right Okay. Swing with everything. As much as I would like to make him think I'm holding on to a counter, I'm just not going to do that. One, two, three. Two drop. Hover guard. Can he cascade again? Yes, he can. Do we 
here. Each player's life total becomes 10, and it flies. That's game. Off to round three. wonder if I can fit this into 15 minutes. I'm uh, not going to change my board up at all. I will play first. Blue source. Brainstorm. Ornithopter. I like it a lot. that. I'm thinking a frog might. It's my best course of action here. turn two. I'd rather try to draw into some counter magic. Didn't happen. So I just gotta hope he doesn't combo off on turn three. There it is. Oh! Suspended. Okay. I can deal with that. And thought cast again. And again. There's that, which is what I was really hoping for. One, two, three, four, five artifacts. And. too desperate to get that Ravager out, but I definitely want to get some damage in. How long do I have on that Hypergenesis? One more turn. Or, I can just cascade into one now. Red and two, though, sounds like a monkey. Who knows? I've honestly never seen a legacy hypergenesis list. He's got some crazy trick up there. I should be able to take this game in relatively short order. And there it is. There's a Faunity.